all real life signals are analog in nature and at first sight it seems use of analog signal is much better as compared to digital signal because if we want digital signal we need to convert the analog signal by using analog to digital converters so there is cost involved we are investing money and thus we want something better so in this presentation we will discuss the advantage of digital signal over analog signal Digital signal is used in communication process to minimize the effect of noise. So basically we are going to focus how the noise is minimized by using the digital signal. What is noise? Noise is an unwanted signal that we don't want. Let me write this down. Noise is unwanted signal. We have transmitter which is used to transmit the signal and we have receiver at the other end which is used to receive the signal. In order to transmit the signal we definitely require some channel, some medium and in this case we have wired medium. First we will try to understand analog signal, transmission of analog signal and uh, the permissible range is 0 to 5 volts and let's say we want to transmit 2.5 volts so let's see what we have zero volt and this is five volts at any time t1 we are sending we are sending 2.5 volts and uh, in this channel a noise of 0 0.2 volt is added to this 2.5 volts so at the receiver's end we will obtain we will obtain the distorted signal 0 5 we don't have 2.5 volts at this end because noise of 0 0.2 volt is added so we will have 2.7 volts and uh, this 2.7 volt is considered to be correct because we are sending the analog signal and in case of analog signal the voltage can take any value within the given limit. It can take any value from 0 volt to 5 volt and 2.7 is definitely within this limit. So at the receiver's end we will consider the transmitted voltage equal to 2.7 but it is 2.5. So there is effect of noise in case of analog signal. We will consider the same scenario in case of digital signal and let's see what we have. And we already know there are levels in digital signal and uh, I want 4 levels from 0 to 5 so 5 I will divide by 4 and I will have 1.25 so let's see what we have on the transmitters end zero then we will have 1.25 2.5 3.5 and then 5 and we are transmitting 2.5 at any time and again a noise of 0 0.2 volt is added in this channel and on the receiver side let's see what we have okay now on receiver side we will have 2. 5 plus 0 0.2 equals to 2.7 volts but you can clearly see we don't have the level equal to 2.7 volts we have 2.5 and whenever there is a signal which is not equal to the level we always take the level below it 2.7 then we have 2.5 so we will consider the transmitted signal equal to 2.5 and that's what we transmitted from the transmitters end we transmitted 2.5 and at the receiver's end again we are getting 2.5 so the effect of noise 0 0.2 volts is cancelled out in case of digital signal let's say this noise is more and it is equal to 1.3 volts so we will have 2.5 plus 1.3 and it is equal to 3.8 volts now we will have 3.75 as the obtained signal on the receiver's end but the transmitted signal was 2.5. Finally we can say that digital signal is good for noise rejection when the value of noise is smaller but when value of noise is high we have to look for more advanced methods. 
So this is all for this presentation. We have few more advantages of digital signals over the analog. We will discuss these advantages in the next presentation. So see you in the next one.